Underneath its little skin, the Ford car shares many of its mechanicals with the Fiat 500. And on the outside, it's been designed for people who want modern rather than retro styling. This particular model is in range topping titanium trim and is fitted with stylish items like alloy wheels and a roof spoiler. But even entry level versions of the car look funky. The modern theme continues here on the inside as well. These flashes of colour help liven things up a little bit and they add to the, the car's cheeky character. Everything's well laid out, I mean it's intuitive where all the controls are and I have to say it feels quite spacious in here for a small car. Even the boot is a decent size too. While the car is based on the same chassis as the Fiat 500, there are some differences to how it drives. The Ford uses slightly different suspension settings and I have to say that it does feel ever so slightly more comfortable and more composed over rough surfaces. It also seems to go around corners a little bit better too. One thing you might find a little bit strange when you first drive a car is the fact that you actually sit up quite high. This is a good thing though because it gives you a great view of the road ahead. And this plus the light controls and the high easy to access and positive gearbox I mean it's really good round town. The car is only available with two engines but don't bother with the diesel as it's not really worth the extra money over the petrol. And that brings us on to the little Ford's bad points. The main problem is the fact that at higher speeds the Ford car isn't very refined. I mean you get quite a lot of engine, tyre and wind noise when you're travelling on the motorway and that can get tiresome after a while. So too can the fact that you can't actually alter the steering wheel for reach. I mean for me I feel that it's kind of a little bit too far away, although that could be because I've just got short arms. Another problem is that unlike the Citroen C1, you can only get the Ford car as a three door. And that means it can be a bit awkward to get into the back of. And once you're in place, well, knee rooms actually manageable for an adult. Headroom is less so. Look, I'm touching the roof here. I mean, really, it's only for kids back here. And finally, there is the matter of price because the Ford car seems a little bit expensive for what you get, especially when you compare it to a Hyundai i10. But then if you want the most stylish small car that isn't retro, well, look no further.